This is a story about an enchanted house. It was called Enchanted because it was a place where everything seemed to come right. It looked much the same as all the other houses around. But there lived here, all by themselves, an elephant called Nelephant, a giraffe called Tiny, and a kangaroo called Joe. In the garden there lived a robin, he was called Bob. And he had a friend who also lived in the garden. He had a nice house of his own under a mushroom. He was a worm, and he was called, quite simply, Worm. But inside the enchanted house, there lived Nelephant, Tiny, and Joe. Nelephant was sitting in her favorite chair, having a think. She was knitting at the same time, making a scarf for Tiny the giraffe. He was inclined to get sore throats, and Nelephant thought that it would help if he kept his neck warm. Tiny sat opposite. He was reading a book. He had new glasses and was very proud of them. He looked up and smiled affectionately at Nelephant. She knitted on. Two plain, two pearl, two plain, two pearl. Uh, I've been thinking, she said. And I think we should have a piano, Tiny. It's a very nice thing to have, and I enjoy playing. And if we're going to have a party, it'll be useful. I can play, and you and Joe can sing to entertain our guests. Tiny looked at Nelephant over the top of his glasses. Mm, that could be a very doubtful treat, my dear. I think our friends might prefer a record. He went on reading his book. Nelephant looked hurt and rather shocked, but as she nearly always got her way, the very next day there was a brand new piano in the sitting room, and Nelephant sat practicing. All day she practiced scales. The robin who lived in the apple tree in the garden called, For goodness sake, play something else. Can't you play a tune? No, I'm out of practice, sighed Nelephant. I can't remember any and it's very sad. Oh dear, that is a pity. Never mind, after all this is the enchanted house, so something is sure to happen. I expect you're right, called Nelephant. But I must admit, I don't feel exactly enchanted at the moment. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? said Robin as he flew away, and Nelephant went back to practice. Well, that night Nelephant went to bed feeling very sad. She had forgotten how to play the piano, but at last she fell asleep and she had an amazing dream. that all the notes came to life and danced and danced and jumped about and played the most lovely tune all by themselves. She woke up, she went to the piano, and the most wonderful thing happened. She could play the lovely little tune she'd heard in her dream the previous night. Tiny put his head round the door. I say, that is good. Better than any record, I do have to admit. That's what comes of practicing and perseverance, you see. And he disappeared. The robin appeared. I say, that was a pretty tune. That's what comes of living in an enchanted house. I told you so, didn't I? And he flew away. Nelephant was left by herself to think. Was it practice? Or was it enchantment? Hmm, a little of each, perhaps. She began to think of all the wonderful parties she could play at. In her mind, the enchanted house became alive, full of happy people, all listening to her playing the lovely music. Everyone was there. Tiny and Joe, of course. Seal, Snake, Jock and Percy, Robin and Crow. Oh, it was wonderful.
her thoughts were interrupted by a Scottish voice saying, It's most important that I should speak to an elephant. I have a problem. Tiny's voice answered. Yes, of course. Come in. You'll, you'll find her in the city room. And Jock, the West Highland Terrier, hurried in. Ah, oh, dear lady, he said graciously to Nellifant. I'd be most grateful for your help. I'll do anything I can, said Nellifant, smiling. What is it? Eh, uh, well, there's a wee Scots lassie, and she's without a home. I met her in the baker's when I was shopping with my family. She came on the train, and the family she was to go to didn't come to fetch her. So she decided to find a place for herself. But it's not all that easy. I'm wondering if you could put her up at the Enchanted House for a few nights while we see what we can do. Her name is Jean, and she's a nice wee lassie. Oh, but of course she can come to stay, said Nellifant. We're only too pleased to help, aren't we, Joe? She called to the kangaroo who she remembered was nearby in the garden. He was engaged in one of his favourite pastimes, digging the garden. Hmm? Oh, oh yes, I of course, my dear. He'd no idea what she was talking about, but he nearly always agreed with Nellifant. It was the only way to get any peace, he thought good-naturedly. Where is Jean? Nellifant asked Jock kindly. <coughs> well, she's outside, said Jock apologetically. Oh, well, bring her in, dear. She's very welcome. And there appeared with Jock a pretty girl West Highland Terrier. I'm Jean, she said in a soft, gentle voice. It's very good of you to have me, and I'm most grateful. Oh, we're very happy to have you, my dear, said Nellifant. Let's all have a nice cup of tea and think about the best thing to do. It's such a lovely day, let's have it in the garden. So Nellifant and the two little terriers had tea in the garden, and they were joined by Tiny and Joe and Robin on the apple tree. They relaxed happily in the sunshine for some time. Then Nellifant said, um, Maybe an advertisement in the personal column of the Animal Herald would be a good thing. You know, wanted, good home for thoroughbred lady, etc., etc. Well, that's a very good idea, said Jock, and Jean agreed. Suddenly the telephone rang, and Robin said, I'll answer it. It's less trouble for me. I'll go through the window. And he flew off, leaving the others enjoying their tea. In no time at all, he was back. It was a human on the line. Very upset she was. Lost her little dog. Went to meet the wrong train. Really, humans have much sense, but they try to be kind, of course. She said someone told her about the enchanted house, and she rang up as a last hope. I told her that if she came round tomorrow, she could find her lost dog. Is that all right? Wonderful, Wonderful, said everyone in chorus. Oh, well, I'm glad I'm not lost after all, said Jean. And thanks to Jock, I can spend a whole day in the enchanted house. That's what I thought, said the robin. And everyone should be allowed to do that. Spend one day in the enchanted house. Thank you.